Handles pretty well. Gear shifts are pretty solid. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're reviewing a 2022 Jeep Renegade Trailhawk. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Jeep Crowds here in Provo, Utah, for giving me some time with this Renegade. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below where you can check out this Renegade. It is available for sale right now. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the video. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 1.3 liter four cylinder that goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 22 around town and then 27 on the highway with power outputs being 177 horsepower and then 210 pound feet of torque. Now, first off, before we go over the front end, I need to mention this has 8.7 inches of ground clearance, which officially makes this a pretty hardcore off-roader. Now, you guys can see here, we've got the decal on the hood, and then we have Jeep's signature front grille, but it's mostly closed off because, well, a 1.3 liter four-cylinder doesn't need all that much airflow. And then you can see here with the headlights, you got halogen lights, and then notice the little turn signal down below, and then you got the fog light down below that. We got the red tow hooks, which also make this a hardcore off-roader. And then look at the front bumper, how it's been sculpted for approach angle and yeah overall sorry about my shadow but there's the front end coming on the side here i've got 215 millimeter tires wrapped around 17 inch wheels in the front and in the rear and you guys will notice that the wheels have that kind of like off-roader type appearance because you have the silver on the top and then kind of like some matte coloration as well all around and yeah so again like i said it has that off-roader type look now this has all-terrain tires they're very skinny they're basically prius tires but they are technically all-terrain tires <laughs> nonetheless and you know although this is a jeep we have got independent front suspension unlike the solid axles you get on a wrangler and you guys can see here with the fender flare and then notice how that continues all along the side you got the renegade badge with the red outlining blacked out mirror trail rated badge trail rated 4x4 badge to be exact and well here's the full side view so here's the key fob we have our unlock function or lock function remote starts and well that's pretty much it pretty simplistic now we do have a hatch hydraulic in terms of the opening so you just press it and then it pretty much does the rest of the work for you now storage space in the renegade is actually pretty solid again it's a pretty small suv but it's got quite a bit of storage space you got the spare tire underneath and it's actually an off-road tire wow that is cool i mean that that makes this officially an off-roader where you have a spare that you could use on the trail and then you just pull that down there you go now finish things up with the rest of the rear we've got the little squared off taillights which are pretty cute looking and then you guys can see with the red tow hook or recovery hook rather down below four by four badge trail hawk badge on the other side jeep badge in the center in gray and well there you go now here is the door panel in the rear. You guys can see here with the padding, uh, pretty simplistic from a design perspective. And you guys can see here with the seats, notice here again with the padding, got the red stitching all throughout. And then popping in, there's the legroom. Wow, lots of headroom because it's very boxy. Got a little storage space right there. USB, and then you can see the little power outlet down below. And oh, this is kind of interesting. So there's a little strap here that you pull and then you pull that forward and Wow, that's the uh, most interesting cup holder armrest situation on the planet. Let's head to the front. Now here's the front door panel. You guys can see again with the padding here. We've got all of our window controls here. Notice the front two are automatic. And then the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. And then we got the little Jeep there on the speaker, which is kind of cute. And then here's the front seat. Again, you can see here with the padding. Notice it says Trailhawk down below. And then you can see the stitching here all along the side. And look at the bolstering here as well. And then you get your power adjustments on the side. Pedal layout down below, and then look at the floor mat. Little light control right there, and then the red coloration around the vent. And let's pop in. Ah, the smell of Italy. Anyways, you guys can see here at the padding around the steering wheel, and then notice the red stitching there on the center portion. We got our cruise control here, radio controls there on the back. Controls for the center stack, and then you guys can see the voice command phone control situation. Turn signal stock, windshield wiper stock, and also the stop start button. Kind of funny looking. Anyways, there's the steering wheel. Now here's the center gauge cost. You guys can see that we've got analog gauges on either side. You got the screen here in the center, which shows you stuff like uh, tire pressure, but in bars instead of uh, PSI. Come on, this is America. We don't we don't do things in bars. Anyways, other than that, you can see the other bits of info throughout. Pretty 
self-explanatory stuff and there you go. Now here's the center infotainment system. First off, if we pop it in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, we've got dual zone climate controls. You can see here, we've got heated seats, heated steering wheel as well, or as wheel, whatever you prefer to say. Overall response time with the screen's great. It's got the shortcut bar at the bottom. And now down below, you guys can see here, we've got analog controls for the radio. We've got our lane departure assistance. Again, dual zone climate controls if you don't want to use the screen. And we have our little charging area off to the side. And we have the coolest part of the Renegade, and that is our four wheel drive slash drive mode setup. So you twist the dial to change the drive mode so we can go from auto to snow to sand as you guys can see and then mud rock or sorry mud and then to rock and it'll let you know what you have to do to get into each of the drive modes there within the screen and then you guys can probably tell we have hill descent control four wheel low and then four wheel drive lock so like this thing's set up for off-roading we have the shifter for the nine speed automatic it does have a manual shift function notice here we've got the parking brake turn off stability control and auto stop start right there and then we have our cup holder situation and then we have well the armrest situation and it also does double as a center console. We have a Jeep grab handle, cause well, Jeep, right? And then there is the glove box situation that you guys can see here with the vents at the top. And then just, it's very tall because again, boxy design. So here's the one to sticker for the Renegade Trailhawk. And guess what? Everything that you guys saw pretty much was standard equipment, which is pretty cool. Um, only option on this is the paint and then premium leather trimmed bucket seats. And after all options, $33,930 is the total MSRP. Let's take it out and see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility of the hood. Both the mirrors, which you can do a blind spot throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off here in the Renegade Trailhawk. Um, so first off, in terms of uh, seat comfort, it's actually really solid. Uh, these leather seats definitely feel nice. That is for sure. It's over hundred degrees outside and you know, I'm not boiling in them. So that, I think that's a pretty big positive. This, um, this is kind of a weird comment to make. I, I, I said earlier, I have the, uh, I can smell Italy, but obviously this is manufactured in Italy and it, it reminds me of the Dodge Journey in terms of the interior smell. Like it uh, gave me a nostalgia for when I worked at Dodge and sold Journeys. I'm serious, you know, that's a really, that was my tripod. I know it's a really weird thing to say, but yeah. I guess if I wanna bring back the old days of selling Journeys, then I gotta just hop into a Renegade. Um, other stuff, ride quality is really good. That's a big plus. Uh, interior's pretty quiet and I'm not in four wheel lock or anything like that. So it's going to send, uh, it's gonna be like a front wheel drive vehicle. Basically it's gonna send power to the front wheels. Wow. Definitely feels turboed. It's just partial throttle. Now, this doesn't have a sport mode. It's got dedicated like off road modes. So you basically just leave it in auto. If you want to do sporty driving with the renegade, look, there's a fellow renegade, but guess what fellow renegade? We are a Trailhawk. I have 8.7 inches of ground clearance. You don't. What's the saying the kids do? Na 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 boo boo, basically. Um, other stuff here at the uh, Renegade. Um, it feels big inside here. It's like a little car, but it, it has like that Mini Cooper feel. Like it's very open. It seems like that's, um, I don't know, like a British and Italian thing to do with vehicles is just to make them feel open. I, I don't know. Uh, why that is that they do things that way but i mean if you if you want like a more open interior then well the renegade definitely gives that to you the steering wheel definitely has an interesting feel to it. it definitely has that like cowhide texture so if you like that cowhide texture in your hands well the renegade does not disappoint um other stuff while we are waiting here wait wait never mind we're not waiting anymore is that well we get to see how fast it is handles pretty well Gear shifts are pretty solid. Now it's not like insanely quick, but for the size this is, for the segment this is in, this is solid, very solid. So yeah, we're getting setting things up. So is the Trailhawk real off-roader? Well, Jeep, if you want to send one of these out to me so that I can uh, test this out, then uh, I can definitely give a yay or nay on that. But I mean, it's got 8.7 inches of ground clearance and it's got 
you know, four wheel low and everything. So I, I think this would probably be able to crawl up quite a bit. 8.7 inches is no joke. Um, other than that, I think it looks great. I like the interior. The price point is, this is a very affordable car, especially again in today's market where everything is almost $50,000 and gas prices are, well, coming down, but still very expensive. This is a very economical off-roader. So yeah, if you want the off-road looks, but you don't want to pay for off-road price and gas mileage, then that's what this Renegade Trailhawk gives you. Let me know what you think about it. That's because something's up for our video with this Renegade Trailhawk. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Jeep Chrysler and Provo for giving me some time with this Renegade. Check out them, try in the description down below. I'll see you.